Walmart has become a household name, a retail giant that boasts millions of loyal customers from around the world. But what makes Walmart so special and successful? The secret lies in its innovative business model, masterminded by the company's founder, Sam Walton. In a constantly evolving retail industry, Walmart has managed to remain at the forefront by adapting and perfecting its unique approach to sales and customer satisfaction. In this video, we'll dive into the intricacies of Walmart's business model and discover how it has revolutionized the retail industry, solidifying Walmart's position as America's largest supermarket chain. Saving money and time are two things that are a priority in most people's minds, and it's no secret that Walmart's business model is based on offering the lowest prices possible. But how do they manage to keep their prices consistently low? The answer lies in their massive size and the possibility of taking advantage of the economies of scale in which Walmart dictates the prices they want to pay to their manufacturers. Walmart offers its vendors a deal to produce a huge volume of a product under the Walmart private label. This means that the vendors receive slightly less money per unit, but the amount of product they sell to Walmart at this price still makes it more money than they would get from selling to anyone else. However, there is a dark side to this dynamic. Walmart's constant demand for lower prices can drive vendors to cut costs by offering lower paying jobs and producing lower quality products. At a certain point, the vendor may no longer be able to produce the product for the price Walmart demands, at which point Walmart Walmart simply finds another supplier. Also, you might think that this price undercutting strategy would significantly reduce Walmart's profit margins, but their sales are so massive that they still achieve yearly profits of over $140 billion. Walmart's business model also includes a strategy of undercutting smaller companies and forcing them out of business. Once a new Walmart store opens, its low prices attract customers who used to shop at local businesses. These businesses can no longer compete because they don't have the benefit of economies of scale like Walmart does. As a result, they eventually have shut down. Another crucial aspect of Walmart's business model is maximizing the amount of money each customer spends in the store. Walmart collects and analyzes data on its millions of customers to figure out how to keep them in the store for as long as possible, wandering the aisles and buying more things, and coming back more often. Walmart's goal is for customers to see that the price per item they buy is lower than other places, without realizing that they ended up buying more items in total. This strategy has helped Walmart maintain its position as a leading retailer achieving profits of up to $140 billion a year. Behind every discount is a calculated move to maximize profits. And, one of the ways Walmart cuts costs is by keeping employee wages as low as possible. This cost-saving measure has been the source of much controversy, with some applauding their thriftiness and others describing it as unethical. It's a classic case of profits versus principles, and it begs the question, where do we draw the line when it comes to paying employees a fair wage? Is it acceptable for companies to prioritize profits over people, or should they be held to a higher standard? Walmart has made a name for itself as a tax-dodging expert. They are skilled negotiators, securing favorable tax incentives from state and local governments before setting up shop. They go to great lengths to find every possible loophole to avoid paying their fair share by dividing their headquarters between different states. They ensure that their money is taxed as little as possible. It's a cunning move, but it's also one that raises serious ethical questions. Is it right for a company to exploit every loophole in the book to avoid paying taxes, even if it means leaving a smaller pie for the rest of us? Walmart's true goal is to be a one-stop shop for everything you need. They stock a wide range of products, from food to clothes, video games to medicine. The idea is that customers will never need to leave Walmart, they can do all their shopping in one place. And, as it turns out, this strategy is a winning one. With their focus on convenience, Walmart attracts time-crunched customers who value the ability to buy everything they need under one roof. And, in turn, this drives up Walmart's profits. It's a smart move that speaks to the power of convenience in the modern retail landscape. It's easy to think of Walmart as the embodiment of evil, but the truth is more complicated than that. Walmart has successfully addressed the supply-demand problem of consumer products, making essential goods more accessible and affordable for millions of people. They are, without a doubt, a competitive force to be reckoned with. However, their success comes with a price. Walmart has a reputation for keeping wages low and eliminating competition, often at the expense of smaller businesses. And, while they provide employment opportunities in a high unemployment economy, their negotiation tactics with employees are harsh and raise serious ethical questions. So, where do we stand on Walmart's business model? Are the benefits worth the cost? It's a question that only you can answer. If you like the video please give it a like and comment as it really helps us get noticed. Thanks!